Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash petty revenge. In today's episode. Flower thief is embarrassed. The pink fence. Airport cutters get what they had coming. My teacher yelled at me so I told my mother. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Flower thief is embarrassed. We discovered a man on our ring camera a few minutes after he'd walked down our driveway and taken a very large cutting of my newly bloomed dahlia. It was 9 p.m., just getting dark, and this seemed planned, because who carries scissors in a bag around to steal flowers? I had been working on making my front yard prettier and my plants had finally started growing in and looking good. Even so, I would have gladly shared if he had asked. That way I'd get to choose which stems and how many. Instead, he took the biggest stalk, with the most blooms, from the very center and left it so the cut was super obvious and ugly. I was pretty sure I recognized the man and that it was a guy who I saw earlier in the day when I was watering, I remember it being odd that him and his wife walked by twice within only a few minutes. The next day he and his wife and dog walked by again and I was able to verify it was him by his unique gait and long hair with a big bald spot in the middle. So I took cuttings from my garden and put a sign up in my front planter box, free cuttings. Thanks to everyone except the long-haired balding man for not stealing my flowers. I put a lot of work into this garden but am happy to share with those who ask. I've seen him three times since then, and discovered that he lived at the end of our street, he wears a bandana now. If he's at our block party next month I will bring it up. The Pink Fence This is my favorite petty revenge story. We have neighbors down the street whose direct neighbor was such a jerk. The final straw was when he sprayed weed killer onto the fence between their properties because they had plants that hung near his side. The weed killer spread into their yard, killing the bushes there which always attracted butterflies and hummingbirds. He woke up the next day to the entire fence on his side painted hot pink with giant googly eyes glued onto it. It made me smile every time I walked by. Airport cutters get what they had coming. Allow me to tell you about my phenomenal revenge at the airport today. In security line. Just put my bag and stuff in the bin. Get in line to go through detector. Woman in front of me about to go through but has her phone so she steps out of line and hands to her husband who was still putting his stuff in a bin. Meanwhile a line forms behind me, it's very busy. Woman goes through and that's fine because she was in front of me already. Now it's my turn. But oh. Her husband jumps right in front of me. Having never been in line at all. Excuse me. I say a couple times. Oh sorry not my fault for being turned around or whatever, and he continues to try and explain away his dickishness as he's through the detector and I'm not. So I call him an asshole and walk through. Of course I get beeped and have to go into the special one but luckily nothing else, was just a random check. So I leave annoyed that this dude was an ass. Fast forward to the gate. Oh look who is on my flight and waiting right up by the scanning area. No group lines, just a mass of people waiting. I step right in front of them when group 1 was called even though they had been standing waiting there at least 10 minutes before I got there. And I hear the wife go like under her breath, we were here, everyone is a cutter ha ha ha, and then she realizes I'm the one who cut them. She turns to her husband and says, oh look who it is, before I scan in and hear her call me an asshole as I gleefully walk up the ramp to the plane. My teacher yelled at me so I told my mother. This happened when I, 15, was in grade 5. In South Africa, our school year starts in January and ends in December. This story took place around July. 
It's probably worth a note that I've only ever seen my mother lose her temper less than ten times collectively. She's generally a very soft and calm person. This comes up later. My family and I had just gotten home from Germany, because we were attending my brother's wedding. I arrived two days late and so when my teacher was handing out math's homework booklets, I didn't get one. I was a pretty shy kid and didn't like asking for things, so every week, I'd ask my mother to ask the parent group chat for a picture of that week's math homework. After two weeks, she asked why I didn't have a booklet, so I told her I wasn't given one after the holiday. She knows I'm an anxious person so instead of telling me to ask my teacher myself, she wrote a note and told me to give it to her the next day. I did. Needless to say, Mrs. Karen was upset and yelled at me from across the room, saying, you're such a useless child. Why didn't you say anything? I honestly don't know why I got stuck with such a stupid class this year. Not to mention how your mother has been abusing the parent group chat every day for two weeks. I started to cry. She kept yelling at me for about two more minutes before telling me to go to every single one of the six classes in my grade and ask for a spare math booklet so I can photocopy it. I was still pretty teary-eyed and my eyes were red and puffy. I didn't want to get yelled at so I just did what she said and thankfully, the nice teacher, Mr. Adamson, gave me his booklet and even later asked if I was okay. When I got home, my mom was just about to head off to buy some things at the mall. She told me that she wanted to hear how my day went, and asked if I wanted to tell her on our way to the mall. I said sure. We got in the car and I told her everything that happened that day. I could feel the car get faster and her hands were shaking because she was gripping the steering wheel so firmly. When we got home, she immediately got on a phone call with my principal and set up a meeting with her, my dad and my teacher. The next week at school, I heard on the intercom before break that Mrs. Karen was to head to the office for a meeting. I was grinning the entire time. When lunch ended, she pulled me outside the classroom and told me that my parents came. She was crying and her voice was shaky. I got home later that day and asked my dad WTF happened and he said to me that he could only describe it as good cop, bad cop. My mother being the bad cop. Needless to say, I didn't have many problems with Mrs. Karen for the rest of the year and I can now confidently say that whenever I have school issues, I will definitely tell my mother. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.